Hoo wee, I'm back and I'm glad to be able to take this off. Whoa, what's shaking everyone? My desk and the camera at the moment. What's good? How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. And I just got back to the studio. The last episode, you may have seen my cousin ITT and I at Guitar Center Nashville. I was showing you two solid recording bundles for the home studio beginner and enthusiast. If you're new here and don't know who I am, I want to take just a moment to tell you more about myself and what this channel is all about. My name is Paul the fifth fifth i am an enthusiast of music all things media graphics related and this legacy studios channel is all about music recording engineering mixing mastering all things media i also have a new playlist called connections it is a faith-based series of interviews where i'm bringing in some of my friends some celebrities and we're talking about life the good times and the struggles and the beautiful outcome of these situations of being faithful and having perseverance if you happen to miss the last episode, I was talking about how to get started as a first time beginner. If you don't have a computer, I gave you five tips on places to get yourself one. I also gave you some personal spec tech recommendations from myself to you, so that way you can have some good hardware in getting things going. While we were at Guitar Center, I showed you those bundles. It was rather noisy. I'm not a loud speaking individual and wearing a mask probably didn't make things any easier. I wanted to show you the Focusrite 2i2 bundle on the Guitar Center website. And then I wanted to show you the second bundle, which is the Persona's 25th anniversary edition recording bundle on the Sweetwater website. I wanna talk about some differences between the stores and the bundles, what they include, so that way you are fully informed and know how they can benefit you as an up and coming recording engineer and producer. There's so much I need to cover today. I'm going to stop yapping. Let's go ahead and dive into this. We are currently in tax season and you might be getting a refund. And if you were lucky enough last week to get stimulated by the government, you just might have some extra cheddar in your bank account. Maybe you've been wanting to get started in this whole music production thing and you just didn't know where to begin. Well, I'm so glad you found me because today I'll be showing you two solid beginner bundles. I'll be breaking them down by specs, give you some more detailed information so that way you can have more knowledge and an informed buying decision. Let's go ahead and get into these. And the first bundle is found on the Guitar Center website, and it's the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. This bundle is priced at $280. It includes a two channel interface, so you can record two tracks simultaneously. It includes a large diaphragm, condenser microphone, necessary XLR cables to plug your microphone into your interface. And for playback and monitoring, you've got a great set of studio headphones. This bundle has you covered when it comes to hardware. You're also covered when it comes to software. Let's take a look. Included software, Ableton Live Light music making software, Pro Tools first, Focusrite Creative Pack, a free three month Splice sound subscription with new Splice accounts, Focusrite Red 2 and Red 3 plugin suite, a choice of one of four XLN audio addictive keys virtual instruments, soft tube time and tone bundle and access to the Focusrite plugin collective. As a Focusrite user myself, I recently made an investment in the 18i20 interface and it came included with this software bundle as well. My favorite pick was the addictive keys from the XLN website. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next bundle. On to bundle number two. This is found on Sweetwater.com. This is the Persona's 25th bit anniversary edition, priced at $319. A little bit more, but more is included. Let's talk about it. Similar to the Focusrite bundle, you have a two channel interface. You can record two tracks at the same time. You've got your large diaphragm condenser microphone, the necessary XLR cables to plug that microphone into your interface and for playback, you do have your studio headphones. The addition of this bundle is a pair of studio monitors. You have a pair of 3.5 inch monitors put in your studio. So that way you don't always have to listen to headphones. And the icing on the cake for this bundle 
is access to Personas' flagship recording software, Studio One Artist. I myself do use Studio One, Studio One version four. Last week, I got an email from Personas letting me know that Studio One 5.2 has been announced. You possibly might be able to get access to that software. I have three producer buddies of mine that use Studio One. My good friend and mentor, Kevin, who goes by the name of Sonic Pilot, Sonic Pilot Records here in Nashville. My big brother and confidant, Jeff B of JBO Productions here in Nashville, introduced me to Studio One about five years ago. And recently I found out my good friend, Big Bruno of Big Bruno's Beats is also using Studio One. I bet you didn't know what I'm about to say. I have two friends of mine that actually work at Personas, Joe Gilder from the YouTube channel, Home Studio Corner, and my good friend, Rick Nockby. If you chose the Focusrite bundle, then you'll have the option to get a three free month subscription to the Splice website. But Paul the Fifth, uh, I don't know what Splice is. Well, that's okay. I'm glad you asked and I'll be delighted to show you what it's all about. If you're able, why don't you go ahead and join me right now on your computer, on your web browser of choice. On a Mac, hit Command T, type in splice.com, that'll take you there. Let me tell you what Splice is all about. It's a website created by artists, musicians, and producers. You have four monthly subscription options and it gives you a set amount of downloads for the month. You also have the capability to network with other artists, file share sessions over cloud-based systems, and the capability to download free plugins as well as a rent-to-own plugin program. Let's go ahead and take a look. In the top left corner, you'll see Studio, Community, Sounds, Plugins, and Blog. The first thing I recommend that you do is go ahead and set up an account. To do that, we'll slide over here. I'm currently logged in, but just follow the prompts. We'll go ahead and take a look at plans. I am currently subscribed here. Let's take a look at change plans and we'll go over these. As I mentioned just a moment ago, you have four monthly subscription option levels. Personally, I'm subscribed at $8 a month and I have 100 monthly sample credit downloads. The second option, if you need more, $14 a month at 300 monthly sample credits. At $22 a month, you have the option for 600 monthly sample credits. More than that, $30 a month, a dollar a day, you have the option for 1,000 monthly sample downloads. Pretty cool, up to you, however much you need, whatever budget you're on. As I said earlier, you have studio, community, sounds, plugins, and blogs. Let's take a look at those now. If you click on studio and start new project, you have six options for DAWs. That stands for Digital Audio Workstation, basically your recording software platform. What you can do here is network and collaborate on a cloud-based platform here via Splice. Send your sessions to other musicians, artists, or producers. They can record a guitar on that track or drums and send it right back to you. So very cool. Go ahead and utilize today's technology if you can. The next thing you'll see up here is community. And this is where you can download sample packs created by these artists and musicians and producers. And these are updated daily. A few examples at the time of the video, there's reggae, there's riff raff, soft parallels, producer challenge, beat makers toolkit, Travis Barker's got some stuff up here, contagious, haywire, Shiva, the mix contestant, and J views. Just a few to check out. Now let's get into the heartbeat of what Splice is all about. Once you have created your account and chosen your subscription level, this is where things get really cool. You can check out overview, you have instrumentation, everything from drums, vocals, synth, percussion, brass and woodwind, keys, bass, guitar, effects, and strings, all available at your fingertips. You have cinematic effects, genres, labels, presets, and MIDI. Anything you want is available with a click of your mouse. Let's go back to instruments. As the drummer myself, let's we'll check out the drums. Let's look at snares. You'll see all these packs here. You just click on that, allows you to sample. If you happen to like that, you give it a heart, hit the download, one credit. Two ways of downloading, open on the Splice app or install. Let me say a four letter word, F-R-E-E. -E. As someone that's just beginning as an engineer, you may not have a huge budget. 
and that's okay. This is where Splice comes in. Let's go ahead and scroll down to free plugins. Everything from Ott, Vinyl, Tau Chorus, Valhalla, Freak Echo, Tau Filter, Freak Analyst, Tau Bit Crusher, Chorus, Recorder, Tau Noisemaker, Phaser 3, SPL, Free Ranger, all amazing free plugins. Once you have your account set up, just click on free and follow the prompts. And that is what Splice is all about. It's definitely worth checking into. I wanna take some time and talk about the differences between these two music stores. On this hand, you have your guitar centers of the world. And up here, you've got your one Sweetwater store located in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I tend to think of Guitar Center as your Walmarts of the world. They're just about in every state, any major city. You've probably got pretty knowledgeable sales representatives and I'm sure they've got a pretty wide variety of products to choose from. Each store has their own website. When you call in, you've got a customer service and sales department, and you can set up an email list. If you set up your email with Guitar Center, just a warning, they will blow up your email with something just about every day. But on the positive, you have the opportunity to know when new sales are coming about, holiday specials, and prices and promotions. Let me talk about the great qualities of Sweetwater. Since there's only one store, they are up in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm from Evansville, so they're up here and I'm from down here. Anyhow, Fort Wayne is known for their exceptional customer sales experience. If you happen to go to their website or if you call, you will get your own specialized, dedicated Sweetwater sales engineer. The benefit of this is they are going to know you. They're going to treat you like family. Family. They're going to get to know all your musical needs. They'll get to know your setup, all the products you have. If they don't have an answer, if you have questions or there's a technical support need, they have an in-house tech support division. My two favorite things about Sweetwater, there's only a two day shipping and all their products come with a two year standard warranty. To me, this is amazing. I've been fortunate enough to make it up to Sweetwater one time. It was in 2013 and I got to go to the Gear Fest up there. I got to meet Mitch Gallagher, who is their general spokesperson. You may see him on their YouTube page where he's doing a lot of product tutorials and giving knowledge. I did not get to meet myself sales rep whose name was Jason Kovac at the time. Now my current sales rep, his name is Matt South. He is so knowledgeable, he's patient, he has answers, and he makes recommendations based off the things that I tell him. Overall, I am a diehard and loyal Sweetwater customer. I'm always left satisfied. And one cool thing when they send you a package, once you open it up, you're gonna have a little bag of sweets. That's always something to look forward to. Just a couple of differences between the two stores. I'm not a Guitar Center hater at all. I still go there and shop. As you saw, I was there last week. I get plenty of cables. I get a lot of my drumsticks from there and a lot of accessories as well. Just some options for you to think about. If you do contact Sweetwater, make sure you ask for Matt South as he's my personal sales rep. He will steer you in the right direction. He will listen to you and you will have a great experience. I promise you that. And wrapping up today's video, I've got five more things I want to talk about really quickly. Number one, power. Number two, registering your product and downloading software. And number three is the proper way to turn your product on and off and in the right order. And number four, I'll actually be showing you how to set up your speaker system properly. And number five, we'll be talking about the sweet spot, the optimum listening position. One absolute necessity a recommendation for me to you to protect your new investment is get yourself a solid reliable power source with a surge protector you do not want to be working when it's storming outside the vibes are flowing you've got a good vocal take everything's going great you come in ask to save things and then a surge of lightning comes in, hits your house, and zaps your computer and your hard drive, and everything is lost. You do not want that to happen, and I don't want that to happen to you either. So just take the time and spend the necessary amount to get yourself a reliable surge protector. Paul V, why are you showing us this big box? Here's why. If you end up getting the Focusrite bundle or if you go with the Personas bundle, in here is gonna be some activation codes for you. Let's check it out. 
probably somewhere in here, there's going to be some directions for you. If you go with the Focusrite bundle, it'll tell you the specific website to go to. Mine says focusrite.com slash get started slash scarlet slash third gym. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. So once you go there, just follow all the prompts. It'll give you if there's an activation code, you just type that in and you just follow everything that it tells you to do from beginning every step of the way and you should be good to go. If you do run into any problems, just call the 800 number that's on your packaging slip. I wanna take some time and show you some of the products I have. If you want to register a product, just click on register a new product. Just choose Focusrite Pro or Novation and then on product, anything from the drop down menu my hardware here's my scarlet 18 i20 third gen my scarlet octopre dynamic and my old school octopre mach 2 dynamic as far as my software the website amplify studio ableton live Lice, splice three months pro tools first creative pack plugin collective focus right drum tracks red plugin suite soft tube time and tone bundle and the excellent audio addictive keys and again all you have to do is click on there follow the prompts and you are good to go hello everyone my name is paul the fifth fifth and in this portion of the video i shall be not only your instructor but your lecturer and your mentor and guide in the process of powering on and off of your studio gear Believe it or not, there is a right way and a wrong way to power up your studio system. The first thing you want to do is always begin with your computer and your interface or power amplifiers and then your speakers very last. Just a tip here, you may want to make sure you turn your volume all the way down just in case if any music is playing once you turn on the interface or amp and then your speakers. Once those speakers are on, that way, if there is music playing, it's not blaring, it doesn't damage the cones, it won't leave you with ringing ears, and by doing this, you save yourself from crapping your pants. To power down, you'll do the reverse process. Turn your speakers off, amplifier or interface, then your computer. I just showed you the correct way to power on your studio system. Now I wanna take a moment to show you how to get your computer connected to your interface and your interface connected to your speakers. For today's demonstration, I found it would be much easier to use my older Apogee Element ADA interface as well as my late 2015 MacBook Pro. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you may know my M1 Mac Mini has a hard time connecting from any Thunderbolt to USB-C cables. I currently have my main monitor connected to my laptop, so anything you'll see on here, you'll see on here. Let's go ahead and plug the interface into the laptop. You notice the light turns red. Now the light is green. It's got a solid connection between the interface and the computer. In just a moment, the Apogee software may display on the screen. Here it is. Remember when I said you may want to turn your volume down all the way before turning on your interface and speakers? Let me show you how to do that in this software because all softwares are a little bit different. Their main output should be fairly visible. Cool. You notice that is muted, so now no sound should come out. On the back of our interface, we have our main outs right here, left and right. We'll take the female end of the cable, plug it into the output, plug our male end into our speaker. Same thing on this side. We take our female end the output our male end goes into our speaker and voila let me go ahead and connect our power source in and we'll be right back all right we have successfully got our computer connected to the interface and the interface connected to the speakers let's test things out shall we what the heck Oh, wait a minute. Remember when we said to turn the volume all the way down so I didn't blow our speakers and crap our pants? Let's check on that. All right, so right here, we'll turn that volume up slowly. And notice when I do the volume here, 
it controls our volume here. So just be wary of that. So that was enough bad dancing from me. We're almost done. I've got one or two more things to show you. Thanks for sticking with me. Let's check it out. We have successfully accomplished steps one, two, three, four, and are wrapping up with step number five. I wanna take our minds back a little bit to sixth grade geometry class. Do you remember triangles? You're probably thinking, Paul the fifth, what the heck do triangles have to do with my home studio setup? Well, let me tell you, for your monitoring situation, everything. So there's different types of triangles, right? Today, we'll be concentrating on the equilateral triangle, meaning equal distance from all sides. My bigger speakers on the outside are the M-Audio BX8As. There is an equal distance from the speaker on my right, your left, to my left, your right, from the cone on this one to this one is exactly six feet in length. There's something called the sweet spot, and that's putting yourself as the engineer right where the sound is coming out. Let me explain a little better. So if we have a distance of six feet between this cone and this cone, we also wanna have a distance of six feet between this cone out here. And then the other thing we wanna do is have that six foot distance from this cone to here. So if we have six feet from this cone to that cone, we have six feet from here to here. We also wanna have six feet from here to here. This spot right here, that third equal distant point, is gonna have you right in the center and that is known as your sweet spot. That is what's gonna give you as the engineer and producer on any one of your projects, the best point of reference from listening to your mix. Some other things you'll need we'll talk about later that I have in here, as you may see on my wall, some acoustic paneling, but for the time being, just make sure that your speakers are equidistant from each other. All right, wrapping things up for real, ladies and gents. Last episode, I showed you five places you could get yourself a computer if you don't have one. I gave you some general tech spec recommendations, and we went to Guitar Center to show you some bundles. Today, back in the studio, we broke those bundles down with some more detailed information to give you an idea of some overall bundles that might be good for your first purchase. I thank you so much for watching. Please stick with me because soon I'll be doing some tutorials, setting up sessions, hard drives, organization. I'm bringing in my friend, Catherine. We'll be doing some game staging, recording a song with her. And I'm gonna be showing you my rig rundown, everything I have here, why I got it, and the signal flow of it all. Again, I thank you so much for all your support. And I can't wait to grow the channel with you. Thank you again. And my name is Paul the Fifth. <laughs>